Natalia. I'm trapped in a tunnel underneath the village. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> it sounds like things I text when I'm drunk. <laughs> I can't. I I've, can't I've, feel my legs. I've I feel received like, those texts. Yes, you, so you can attest to it. No way. I feel She's like I'm dying. Why me. do you hate I me? Abandon her. <laughs> those are like literally almost <laughs> verbatim <laughs> texts you've sent me while drunk. There was somebody with me. Forget about the past. Just Is that a guy there or a street post? Uh, there's a lamppost, but there's a, a bad man over here. Oh, sure there is. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not gonna get over that. Like, anytime soon. <laughs> this area is too big. Yeah. This feels like uh, Jacinto. Yeah, it does. Or maybe not Jacinto. I'm telling you, are you seeing this? <laughs> They're sinking cities with a giant body. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Why do you hate me? Does he not turn around? Yeah, he I think he does. Because he came from the other direction. So. Oh, no, hold on. I got it. Got it, coach. Hey, look at this. What's it for? You can use it to hide from the monster. I didn't throw that. It just came out. <laughs> it just slipped out of your hand. It was actually covered in Crisco. <laughs> Why was there an enemy that other direction? Why could we go that way? I don't know. What? Lottie was always the one who knew what to do. But you have me now. He's a friggin' stuffed you can animal. Me. You don't know that. You have no evidence. I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't just barge into rooms. <laughs> it's rude, says the pointing girl. <laughs> the girl who literally does just points. All right. Um, just points. Ew. I don't think I can get around him. Did he turn around? He, he like spins. I think. Like a Beyblade. Like a Beyblade, baby blade, blade, right now. That orange reticle is actually doing more harm than good because I can't tell which direction he's facing. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, isn't it? Right, excuse me, sir. I don't think I need to be in here. He's facing me now. See if the, that room leads to anywhere. I don't think he can because I don't think he can open doors. Dang it. Where'd it you doesn't. Go? Seem to be a good way to get around him. Oh, now I get another smoke screen bottle. Yeah, just. I hope this one slips out of your hand, too. Yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> There's usually an animation for it. I don't know why it didn't happen last time. Hey, bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and absolutely. <laughs> it did! <laughs> but it was like really. really way too quick. Whoa, you just scared me. You came out of that like a slasher villain. Surprise. I really can't jump over that. That's dumb. Uh, it's really dumb. I tell you. I guess in split screen mode, they have it show up on your screen because basically you're going to see it anyway if you look at my screen. Yeah. But I guess it would be really <laughs> Nonsense. What the fuck? Looks like you're What did you say to me? Something about I heard s'mores. I heard Eustace farted. Maybe he did, maybe he Lottie didn't. was always the one who knew what to do. But you have I me now. What to do this time. You can trust me. I think you should be able to at least phase through doors. Yeah. Well me, because I'm a ghost. Yeah, or you don't exist. I don't know. Oh, didn't mean to quick turn. Look at me. Look at me. So wait, I had an animation on your screen. Yeah, you did. I should probably just tail that guy from behind. That seemed to be the most... Uh, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, if you just follow him. Give him the suck. 
right there. What are you pointing at? His... Uh, his Johnson? No, his uh, fart-covered leg. That's where, if we had a gun, that's where you would shoot him. Mm. Where's the exit here? Oh, it's those stairs. Does he just patrol the whole area? Oh god, he's gonna spin around, isn't he? Nope. I don't know how good his, his like hearing is. I'm scared to just run around. Until Lottie came along. I was so scared. All right, we'll keep looking. But I don't think you need her. In the You're main game, this area now. is a complete nightmare. So I'm hoping this is not a, a horror show mm -hmm. in this version. You jump down there first. Because in the main game, there's also invisible enemies. Oh god, there's two of them in here. If I drop down there directly, will they immediately see me? No, because one's walking away and the other one's facing out, so... I think you gotta come over here. Like can you right mark now. that other guy? Where, yeah, this one. Oh, oh, you can only mark one at a time. Yeah. Alright, well I guess the one that's moving should be marked. Yeah, the other one's just turning and kind of facing out. Right now he's <clears> facing out the door. Which way is he? Fa he's facing that door? Yeah, he's facing out. The other guy's walking now, so don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna go now. If he sees me through this, I'm gonna get so mad. So mad for you. <laughs> the, yeah. On your screen, it's like so obvious that I'm there. It's like a T-Rex. His vision is based on sight. Yes. The eyes have walls. I wonder which way I'm supposed to go. I would assume that way. There's stairs leading. I almost said there's stairs leading upstairs. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, but I'm redundant. Redundant. Ooh. Thanks for the mark, partner. Or sorry, I didn't say that right. Thanks, partner. We are playing Resident Evil after all. Are I think you your sure? is not turning around. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do the. Oh, I can't. Usually you just jump down. It was a guardrail. That reminds me of when uh, stupid Stevie would pronounce paper towels as paper towels. Paper towels. What an idiot. Same person who pronounced skeleton as skeleton. Ew. What a weirdo. Get behind those crates. I'm glad I haven't seen him in like two years. Here, scout ahead. Through the bus. Through the fire and flames. Ew. No thanks. Is that the song or the band? That's the song. Oh, Dragon Force, right? Yeah. What's the matter? You don't like that song? It's like, I mean, it's an iconic part of my growing up, but... I don't like the band. What else have they done, though? They're the very definition... They've had, like, two or three albums with different singers, and mm. that's it. They're One of their guitarists or bassists or something is in a band with uh, the guy who used to drum for Slipknot. Interesting. But, yeah, they really have not kept up on their relevance. See, the thing is, like, that song is so, like, technically wow. Can't they not even play it, like, They play live? everything at half-tempo live. Hmm. That's kind of embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Don't even play it. Especially because they have... You have to see their, um... Their, like, playthrough videos from when they were... They got famous. Um, a lot of them is just like, and this is how you make Pac-Man noise on guitar. This might jeopardize the mission, but I have to try it. Nope. There's no fun slide. You could do it with Chris in Resident Evil 6. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's dumb that they... As a little girl, come on. Yeah, she's made for that. Is there anyone around me? Is, so when Chris does it, does he just put one bicep on the slide and go down? Or yes. There? Turn around, I think there's a guy like behind you. Yeah, there's one over here. Thanks for doing the one function I have for me. 
we're in Russia, so that doesn't make any sense. They should just speak English it everywhere. Just, it just says... What, what is that? Satoya Obar, with we, a backwards R for some reason. He elected Trump? What? Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't know about it. I mean, they definitely did it, but I don't know if he was in collusion with them. Which way is he facing? I'm just kind of going in. Uh, he, I think you're fine. He's facing, like, me. Does he switch spots? He's, like, fully facing me. Oh, yeah, now. he definitely is facing you. Oh, he's hurting. He busted his ass something fierce. <laughs> I just clipped through you and then you teleported, but that's fine because yep. you're like and a ghost. And then I just tried to moonwalk back through the, the door. Ooh. And I have these rainbows. <laughs> that will never not make me laugh. Thank you for your box work. I work the most box. That little girl can't do that. What was that prompt? Oh. I can also work some pretty good prompts. Box. I just clipped through that. Box, 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 box. No. Thanks for the heads up. He can't even get me from where I'm at. Yeah, no thanks. I like how they wouldn't, they can't say you died mm -hmm. because it's a little girl. Fainted. Please map them out. Please clap. <coughs> Alright, here it is. I think there's more than just him. Alright, I'll find. Or maybe, maybe not. I'll find our support. What is that from? Um, the weatherman. I was gonna say because it sounds like Nick Cage. What are you talking about? I'm supportive. I support. Okay, yeah. Glorious. I wish you could bring that to me. Because I'm definitely gonna need that. What? There's a smoke screen bottle uh, okay. that you passed by. It d does it look like it's just him? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna stay where the smoke screen is. Is that helpful? Yes, actually, that would be helpful. Is you master? Actually, it would be helpful if I knew a way to find you on the screen. Oh, never mind. That is some very lateral thinking, and I, I like the way you think. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I got the bag. It up. I'm a fresh. You know what I feel would be like really fun for us to play? What? The co-op missions in Splinter Cell. Co-op missions in Splinter Cell? There's like a co-op mode. Double agent? Which one? I don't know which one. They started doing it in, I think, Chaos Theory. Because there was a really fun multiplayer in Double Agent, I remember. That's the one for the 360, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that was the first one that came out for the 360. Yeah. It was one of those where, like, no one would play it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun when you'd find a match. Yeah. I've left that room now. What do you have to do? Uh, if you press triangle, I think you will. Or just go through the one open door in here. The lid. Scoted. Can we talk about how It was the best movie ever made? So good. I mean, that was truly incredible. I haven't seen a horror movie that good in a very long time. Were you actually scared? At no, I don't, I don't get scared, but I can see... I always put myself in my shoes, like, if I was a kid, what you would scare me? you put yourself in your own shoes? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> but, like, there, were, there was a lot of imagery. I'm glad that I can move you. <laughs> Um, there was a lot of imagery in that movie that was pretty disturbing. It definitely would have creeped me out yeah. when I was a kid. It was... The movie, like, from front to back was unsettling for me. Mm -hmm. But there wasn't any moments that I was particularly scared. The one moment that, like, was kind of jump scary that would have freaked me out was in the trailer. Which, which is which one? when he goes down in the basement to find uh, the, the little... His Georgie! Brother. Yeah, Georgie. And, um... Well, he he does runs, <laughs> yeah, that was like, really because I remember when that trailer first came out. I texted you the hit trailer is really good up until the end, then it gets really silly, and that was the scene where he does that like shaky thing and he gets yeah. close to the camera. But the first um, that the, first scene is haunting, and I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, I was like, wow, that's the way they're going to set off the whole movie. That's fantastic. My favorite parts that I think were genuinely creepy um, was. 
it was kind of predictable. I called a lot of the stuff, but it was still creepy. Like when the painting fell off the wall, mm -hmm. in my head I was like, that'd be really cool if when he puts it back up, there's nothing in the painting. Mm -hmm. And then he put it up and there was nothing in the painting. Yeah. And then that the painting came alive. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, the imagery of when he went down into the basement to see Georgie. Yeah. Georgie was just in the corner and that looked really creepy. Yeah. That was freaky. Um, I liked... It was very subtle, but I liked... And I found out after the fact why, but... When he's in the sewer in the first scene and he starts drooling... Mm -hmm. And there's a scene where he just kind of like... His his mo his brain just like clicks off for a second. Like, you can just tell. He like... I just thought that his portrayal of Pennywise was so good. Yeah. But he was saying because of the fake teeth, um, basically he had to drool, so he just incorporated it into the character. I think I'm screwed. No, just come this way. No, he's coming towards me. Oh, wait, no, he, he turned around, he turned around. Um, and the scene with the projector was my favorite. Yeah, uh, the projector scene was pretty cool. But people were laughing in the, in the theater at that part. Really? Yeah. I don't know where to hide well, here. Because I knew that what happened was, for me, is like that, that just kind of kept going on. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew, I remember seeing, I think in the trailer, that, like, the... the the pictures flick and the hair changes and you can see his face change mm -hmm. but then after that when he comes out of the wall I was like oh my god yeah and somebody like I watched I think it was Red Letter Media they said it was really goofy but um mm -hmm. I didn't think it was goofy like that scene was goofy yeah I'm so glad they omitted the uh the orgy yeah thank god apparently in the book it's like really descriptive yeah, too which they, is strange yeah they go in depth which is yeah they sure odd. do Steaming hangman. A lunatic. There was another smoke screen bottle. Did I lose it? I felt like there was something else really important to mention about that movie. There was another one over here. Oh yeah, that's the one I picked up. I don't know, like there's no place to hide here. Yeah. Although I hid fine the first time, it was the second time he saw me like immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't hidden good enough. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I feel like there's something else I need to talk to you about with that movie, but I can't remember what it is. That's dumb. I'm really glad that they didn't put Freddy Krueger in the movie. Yeah. That would have taken me directly out of it. Mm -hmm. Was that, like, talked about? Yeah, they um, they said because it, it was a movie that takes place in the 80s, mm -hmm. it was going to feed on, like, the fears of the children. Mm -hmm. And one of them was going to be, like, really into movies. Yeah. And he was going to be scared of uh, well, Freddy Krueger. And that's, like, something from the book. One of the kids, or, like, some of the kids are afraid of, like, the old monster movies. Yeah, apparently. Like, the Wolfman yeah. is in it and all that, so. Which apparently was just Stephen King's excuse to put a whole bunch of monsters together in a movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that that one guy was, a uh, like, a leper until they mentioned it. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty genius. I thought that was really good. Because, again, they're playing off the fears. That's the kid who's the hypochondriac. Yeah. Although I think Stranger Kid... Stranger Kid? Stranger Things Kid was a little lazy. That He was just like, I'm afraid of clowns. Yeah, they, they... I remember hearing something that that character is actually afraid of something else. But... I'm afraid of little girls. How are you doing right now? Beep, beep, what what Lottie's the whole reason I almost died alive. when that happened. Because <laughs> I, I just be always picture the Tim Curry one. Beep, beep, teddy bears. <laughs> I know she's just a teddy bear. But I've had I it absolutely so cannot long, wait I to just, see if they do the... Uh, the only thing left to excuse me, sir. <laughs> do I have Prince Albert in a can? You better let him out. This man has four legs. Were you scared of the fact that he was a clown? Because I don't really, like... That's, he was like the least scary part of the movie. Yeah, no, he, again, really, it was, it was just like unsettling. Like, mm -hmm. the fact that he was a clown didn't freak me out, but just his, like, just the more I stared at his face, the more I was like, this is... Well, I don't know how much of it was him acting and how much of it was him, like, post-production. Mm -hmm. I liked when he was getting ready to feed, his eyes would just go in opposite directions. Yeah. She's doing the... The Magic the Gathering thing. That guy with the yes. butt cracks. Yes! <laughs> Have you seen the picture, or did I send you, or I don't remember, the, but the pictures of him what doing the smile without the, the makeup on? You're alone. Yeah. Why does so no one weird. want to be around you? Because you're His, his older brother is much more handsome. Uh, yeah. I know. 
no, she's my just boy, a teddy Eric. bear. Eric, Look, I've had her for so, so long. What are you doing? Just, she's the only thing left in my life Greatest that's good. Moment. Truly. How am I supposed to get around this guy? You have a smoke grenade. I do. Give her old Paul Rooney. I just don't want him to see me before I throw it. Why does he not get alarmed that someone threw a smoke grenade? Yeah, I don't understand that. Is there another one in this area? Like a, another guy? Oh, there's one right in front of me. Yeah, this... Wait, no, that's the one that you, uh... Wait, hey, what? Oh, this, this man. Is he the only one? I don't want to waste a... Uh... Yeah, I think this is the only other one. I threw it at you. Yep, that was good. I like just you staring at a door. Beat you. I can't run. I can't seem to run. It's so really? dark in here. Yeah. So what? A little darkness can't stop you. You know, Natalia, what you need is a real friend. I have one, Mr. Fisher. He gave me Lottie when he rescued me in Terra Grigia. But he's gone. And My favorite Italian Lottie dish. Ter yeah, pasta Terra Grigia. No, I saw them. Didn't I? Didn't I? Or was I just sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> that is like what greatest the greatest recited scene. line in film ever. Yeah, that's pretty great. Besides, you are an asshole. Frat Jildo. Another letter from no, Lottie. Fat pork papa. Oh yeah, pork worker. <laughs> Quality movie. Ugh. That's one of those that I usually dedicate. I, I watch at least once a year. Yeah. It's such a weird movie. What's with all this sucking and fucking and <laughs> checking off, son? He's 15 years old. 